Welcome to Play Digital Signage Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at how Google Drive content works. As you may already know, we offer a Google Drive integration with your library so that you can access your Google Drive files when adding and designing content in the editor. Another option is using content from one of your Google Drive folders. Let's go to Playlists and create a new playlist. We can call it Google Drive. Click Create. Let's open our newly created playlist. We find the Google Drive plugin in the top menu. When we add the plugin, a pop-up will ask to authorize the plugin to be able to see and download all Google Drive files. Pick a Google Drive user and then click Allow. When the plugin has been authorized, we can choose the folder that we want to use. In my case, I'll pick another folder and click Select. The next step is telling the plugin how to display the content in the playlist. You can set the duration per file, change the order of how files are displayed, add a transition and change the duration of that transition. The last setting is the refresh interval. Set this to, for example, 20 minutes and the plugin will check for changes in the Google Drive folder every 20 minutes. Click Add to Canvas. We can move the plugin around, resize it, or use the functions here to align it. In my case, I will simply maximize the plugin so that it takes up the whole canvas. We also find the same settings for the plugin as we saw when we added the plugin. This one, check your slide duration, lets us know we might have to change the slide duration. Keep in mind we have two slide durations. One slide duration for the slide that we are working on and another slide duration for the slides in the Google Drive folder. If we are only running the Google Drive folder in the playlist, we can set this slide's duration to forever. Let's publish the playlist, exit the playlist, and go to Groups and Schedules. Let's set the base playlist to the Google Drive playlist, and let's go check how this looks on a TV. The files we see here are all downloaded from the Google Drive folder. This means, even though the internet is offline, content will still be running. Any changes to the content in the Google Drive folder will reflect on your TVs. Thanks for watching.